Hey guys, it's Sonia and today I'm going to be making um, a with my sister. She's actually watching. She was watching, actually. But today I'm going to be making a. She's going to be teaching me how to make it. No. Too. I'm going to be making a um, birthday card for my aunt because tonight we're going to a uh, her party and I want to make give her a birthday card. So the materials that you're going to need, yes, Morgan, you, you, I'll teach you. Or you, you can. This is optional, but you can choose some stickers. I found this these super cute owl stickers at Hobby Lobby, and then these are also at Hob Hobby Lobby. They they come in a pack, and then you and they just need some square paper or just regular paper, some glue it can be glue stick, or some of this. You're gonna need some scissors. You're gonna need maybe some just cute decorations with glue on there. So you got some pom poms, googly eyes, some like um, gem things, jammy things, and some more. Mm -hmm. And then we have some crayons here. And then we have more crayons, but twistable crayons. So before we get started, make sure you guys smash that like button and make sure you're getting this video to 10 likes. That's a really, really big number, guys. Yeah. Okay. So also, um, it would, I love you guys all so, so much. Um, also, um, what's it? Make sure you guys subscribe from that notification bell so you guys always get notified when I post a new video. So let's just get started. So first you're gonna choose one, one color piece of paper. I have blue. And I'm gonna also choose blue. It, make sure it is a square because first we're gonna be making a fortune teller for her that has like birthday things and then we're gonna make a car a car. So, Morgan. So the first thing mm -hmm. first is you want a square piece of paper. I already said that. And then you wanna turn it like this. So like a diamond. Yes, you wanna turn it like a diamond and then take your bottom corner or, the, or your top corner and fold it to this. So it go. Like this, and then like this, and then go all the way up to the top. And then, you and then you make sure you crease it. Like yes. Yeah. Okay, so then you want to unfold that, and then if yeah. Are you gonna do it on the other side? No. Then you're gonna turn it so so it's so it's like a square, and you turn it one more time so it's like a diamond, but it's in different directions. What? So yeah. No. Not, not, not this. No. Now take these two and fold them like that. Yeah. Alright. Are you done? Yes. Okay, so then you want to turn your thing to you unfold. Yeah, make sure you unfold it. And then you turn your thing into a square. You guys can see there is a middle in your piece of paper. You want to fold it, so you want to go like this. Each? Yes, you want to fold each. So you grab this and you go, you grab whatever corner and you just fold it into the corner, into the middle of the paper. And just do that with the um, same ones. With all of them. Then you're going to flip it over. No. Not yet. Morgan, again, I'm teaching you. So it may look like this. Oh, it may look. So it should look like this. Is mine good? Yeah, yours is good. 
So then you want to flip it over. I said that! And then you just do the same exact thing. Take whatever corner and fold it right to the it's middle. It's going to be kind of hard to fold, right? Yes. It will be a bit tricky. Not if you're an expert like me. That I, cause I have, expert. I've made a giant fortune teller. I didn't, I didn't put that in the video, but trust me guys, I have made a giant a fortune. I can't trust you. Let me tell you. So like this, mine's a little messy. It's okay if it's a bit messy, it just won't be perfect. Not so then it may look like this. So then, see this? So then, you want to fold it. So see how it's in a square? You want to fold it down. And see these pockets? Kind and of thing? This one doesn't have a pocket. Oh, it's right there. See these? These things are pockets. Oh. So then, whenever you have your fingers, you can see like your pockets and put your fingers in Mine there. I think mine's gonna rip. And also, one trick is if, if you can't get your last finger in it, put it up against your chin and push your fingers on it. Ah. I can't! Now what? Wait, yeah. but mine won't like... Are you, I can't! Can't do it yet. Can I lay it? Look, look, no! Look. Yours is so messy. I was All the corners, look. I'm not going to make a fortune teller. Okay, you don't need to make a fortune teller, but I thought it was cute. So then whenever we're done making the card, I'm going to write some things on there. And so yeah, so first, then you want to pick two other pieces of paper. They can be the same or they can be different. Two pieces? Yeah, two pieces. I'm going to do red and orange. You, you kind of want them to be the same color, mm -hmm. but is it, it is also okay if they're not. So then you want to take your glue and you want to just and like do it like this. Yeah, and then you want to glue it like this. So, why can't I do like three dots? I'm going to cut them out. Two, three, four dots. Okay, can I have the glue? Right there. The bubble. There. I'm going to do mine a different way. I'm so it do should look like this. I'm going to do mine a line. That's going to be too much glue. Okay. So then you split. They should look like this. Or you could do. Or you could do it like how I did. But then they will have lot. too much to do. No, it won't. Yes, it will. You see? Then you push them together. Again, warning. This is. I'm actually doing this at four o'clock. I don't know what time it is. What time is it? I don't have a clock in my room. But it is at four o'clock um, right now. Yeah, it's like 3.55. Yeah, so about four o'clock. I'm just kind of, and oh, we're going to the party at six. So you want so at least like a two-hour dry, dry. So then next, you you can you can either keep it like this, or whenever it's done, you can fold it. I think mine's done. Is it done drying? I don't know. It needs to be done drying. So then you want to take whatever color or twister ball you want, or you can use Michael or crayon. Or use crayons. But I'm gonna choose. You have these really cute containers that I like. I think I'm gonna choose Do this, this color. blue. I'm gonna choose this blue. It kind of looks gray on camera, but yeah. But you can see the tip is blue. So then. So then what you want to do is you want to write happy birthday because I mean uh, that, 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 that's a bit obvious because it's like my it's like and which one you can you can either yeah. write it like um happy birthday or you can write it happy birthday so I'm gonna do it long ways do you want to do it like that or just just happy birthday I'm gonna do it long ways I'm gonna actually just do it on one piece of paper. I'm gonna write a note and I'm gonna draw a picture on the other side. So, how do you spell happy birthday? H A E Show up, so I would recommend if you're using crayons, black or 
like, like if I had like a blue paper, you could use a dark color blue, or you could use like a pink or purple or something that's very different from that color. So then you can draw a squiggly line or just a line. Like this. It's backwards. Can you see through it? Okay. But so then you can um I'm gonna draw a picture. Happy birthday, and you can write I love you. If like you can write little quotes or it's not quotes, but like I love you so much. You and then you can write and then you can do like two your am or what I call as you drum slum. Can I spell any? Like anyone? I don't know. Okay. So here, here's what my house says. It says, Happy birthday, I love you so much. Two Roo from Slum. So then, ah, oh, got distracted. So then, um, I'm gonna open my little book. craft thing, and I'm gonna pick out some pom poms, some googly eyes, and some like um little kind of types of things. So first, I'm gonna choose a pink pom pom, mm -hmm. and a purple, and white, and blue. So here are mine pom poms. I'm gonna choose. And then I'm also going to get some of these like cool little things, all like um, sequins. Baby 
the beep of the dun stuns, papa dun. So then I'm gonna do the googly eye. Are you done? After this second googly eye. Give me the glow! So then, here's what mine looks like. It's, um, it's a bit tricky to pick up. Can you give Bye.